was, like less yeah. than 200 years ago. You you feel it. He goes, you yeah. can feel it. He goes, I want. I had to get out of there. Yeah, like, that's I, the thing with some of these places. It's it's not necessarily like oh like, you know, immediately you're just like oh yeah, this is spiritual energy or whatever like that. But it's just heavy, yeah. or it's just like you feel off when you go into these places. Like as soon as you stepped into the uh, the Conjuring house, have you ever yeah. seen the Conjuring movies? Yes. So they're actually based on a real house in Rhode Island. And that was one of those places that we had walked into and, and you were like almost getting nauseous. I almost threw up. And I'm, I'm not, so what's interesting about the paranormal and what we've learned the past four years is that it affects people differently. Some people can see stuff. Some people claim they're mediums and can communicate more. I feel like I have more of like an empathic, like almost, like I, I just feel worse, like whenever there's something around. And so when we first walked into the Conjuring house, like. Uh, there was a point where I, I thought I was going to throw up, and I was looking for exits. What's stuff. the real story behind The Conjuring House? What's the actual story? So, yeah, the, the movie story is like this witch, Bathsheba, or whatever. But the actual story, there's a bunch of different things that they say are, are haunted, but it's actually built on the grounds of the— Is that the house? That's yeah, it. Yeah, it's cool creepy. House. It's Rhode an amazing Island. house. Um, the state that launched The Conjuring Universe. There we go. <laughs> Yeah. Like, what is it? Like, the Marvel Comics universe? What does that mean? The Conjuring universe? How weird. Oh, jeez. Yeah, That's the problem. Like, people, when you, when you start making an industry out of something. It turns so, into a business. Yeah, yeah, so what's the original story? So, um, the most the most famous we'll get to, but, like, uh, it's built on the same grounds that the, the King Philip's War was fought mm -hmm. on, like, right at the beginning of the uh, United States and everything. So, the main people that haunt that are like seven dead soldiers that this little girl uh, always kept seeing in the walls and thus it started manifesting more to the entire family mm -hmm. so this family called the Perrin family bought the place in like I think 1972 uh, and for 10 years they said they would see you know these figures these these soldiers walking around like their beds would shake they would get scratches like and it kept getting worse over the 10 years um, and the crazy part is it got to become famous because of like the final day that like changed it all. Um, they wanted to do like an exorcism on the house uh, because I think who is the mom parent? Uh, uh, whatever. Caroline or something. Caroline Perrin. Yeah, Caroline Perrin something was like getting like really bad. Like she would have things happen to her every single day. You know, furniture would move, all these sort of things. She was she was getting like really rash with everything. So she brought in these demonologists who were Ed and Lorraine Warren. Ed and Lorraine if Warren. If you've Warren. heard of them before. No. They're like the the demonologists, the paranormal investigators. They are like the fathers of it all. Yeah. Maybe I have heard of them. Are they, are they fe featured in the Zach uh, Bagan yes. Museum? Yeah. 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 Okay, that's where I've heard of them. Yeah, which is also a crazy place. Yeah. We'll talk about that. But yeah, so anyway. <laughs> I just went. Really? You yeah, went? I just went a couple weeks ago. Oh, no way. Yeah, my daughter dragged me to that, too. <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> Vegas. Uh, yeah, yeah, so they were doing this, like, exorcism. and That's them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's those folks. Okay, and so they I, do an exorcism there. They were doing an exorcism, and I don't know exactly prior to what, whatever happened and why they called it. She was just having a bad time just, like, you know, over the last couple of years, and they wanted to end. Um, and to her claim, she was actually thrown mm -hmm. um, like across Levitated the entire room. like room and smashed into a wall to where she had in in injuries mm -hmm. and they were so angry about that that they actually kicked out the uh, demonologist they punched ed in the face <laughs> yeah, they punched that guy in the face because they thought he was the guy that was like making it worse but i think it just like pissed him off and so that thing when you say like, they punched him in the face you mean the ghost punched him oh in the no, face? no no the the parent the parent the dad, sorry. The oh, dad did oh okay yeah. the, the parent like, family what? was like they're getting assaulted <laughs> The parent family, yeah, was like really they punched upset. him in the face because he thought that he threw the wife across the room, yeah. or he was responsible. He thought for it? they made it, or he was there, and like the exorcism that he was conducting made it more angry, which in turn hurt his wife. Oh, so he got a, a angry. He was yeah, like, "Stop you doing this!" Brought him in, him yeah, exactly. Face. It's like yeah. hiring a priest Sell and then the house, punching. Him right, like, right. Whatever. Move. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck is wrong with <laughs> Move you? Move down the street, punching people. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> the Perrin family actually wrote a book about that, and really? they say the Conjuring movies actually don't do it justice of all the things that happened and all the, the mm -hmm. movements and the craziness that happened in that 10 years that they lived there. They oh. were like, in the real life, actually experiencing it and the trauma that they went through, it, they say it's like 10 times worse. Yeah. Uh, than and so life. they feel like it was dead soldiers, like murdered soldiers in on the battlefield? 
I'm somehow know that sure. that's well here's where it gets interesting is they don't know what it is but they believe it is something more evil or demonic whatever you believe in um that is like controlling all of these like soldiers and stuff and trapping them uh, um, movie goes with that's a person named Bathsheba who was like a neighbor who everybody just thought was a witch um but in real life it was just known as a demonic possession but no trace back yeah of like what it was. that's that's an interesting thing right like because that's in a lot of these cases they feel like it's not just ghosts but it's ghosts that are being controlled by some sort of a demonic entity right mm -hmm. and the demonic entity keeps these ghosts there which is like another layer mm -hmm. of belief you have to right. have. Exactly. Like you just not, don't just believe that maybe when people die, their energy gets left behind, and then maybe that energy gets controlled by demons. <laughs> exactly. Like, right. Oh, my God. It's now like another so, level. We're so into crazy now. Yeah. I don't know if I'm willing to go there. It gets meta. <laughs> it gets very meta. But if you did encounter a demon, nobody would fucking believe you. And then oh, you would no. be trapped. You would be this person who for the rest of your life, there goes Bob and his fucking demon stories. <laughs> yeah. Like, no one would buy it. But exactly. The same if, thing with aliens or right, anything. Like yeah, Anything you right. see that are outside of this, like, logical... Physical world. Physical world. Normal daily encounters. Yeah. yeah. Anything outside of that. Bigfoot. Anything. Mm -hmm. Anything where you see things. And there's been many times that people have seen things that they, they swear were real.